Well, I'm back, and it's time to try and, you know, get ourselves some dry slime. Yeah, yeah, do you know how to keep bugging me, Shovel? I know all the basics, by heart, trust me. I've played this game all the way through three times at this point. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. Spare me your lectures. I wish we could skip them all together, but we have to listen to them up to at least a point, apparently. Which sucks. Okay, let's get the worst fight out of the way first. So let's face it, this is gonna be the worst fight. So we're gonna have to drop at least two firebombs on these guys. Unless, you know, they both take 29 points of damage, in which case then I'll probably beat them to death. Okay, good. We can beat them to death this time, then. Yeah, the enemy's got health up to a random point, and the last one's had, like, 34 hit points, and that's just too much, because... You know, we just don't hit very hard with our basic knife. I need to consume a lot more pig boards if I want to, you know, be able to bust these things' butts, you know, with, you know, straight-up attacks. But I will take, you know, that 77, um, cold, cold and put into probably buying more firebombs. Ah, copper ring. Okay. Well, now. You know, it might barely protect us, but I'll still take it over nothing. Um, and spells, I guess. Bit of a waste, maybe, but whatever. Yeah, we can use return to get back to the entrance. Just slightly faster, I just don't usually think about much. Man, they're messing me up here. Well, if we kill the pig boar last, you know, we'll get access to some pig boar ribs, but honestly, I'd rather take it out first, it's probably gonna hit the hardest. Or not. Okay, fine. If that's how it's gonna be, I guess we'll just take out the pig boar last. Because I got quite a few uh, crowbat legs at the moment. Come on, just give me some dry slime next time, right? Ugh. I guess setting up more trash dumps would help, it's just that leads to more difficult fights. Ugh. Okay, we'll take that. And use it to reinvest. Yay, pig boar ribs. Those are good eating. Okay, let's uh dig ourselves a hole down here then. Oh, that's never gonna work, it's too close. Oh yeah, there's something buried in here, a glass ring. Kinda useless, I have to admit. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna just go all the way to the corner. Put up the next, um, set of rooms for that. And I have to dig again, because, you know, we're doing a very inefficient job. And I forgot to go fight the monsters up here. That's a bad thing. Oh, cool. Another shot, pig boar ribs. I mean, the Warcats can drop better equipment, so fighting them at some point would be a good idea. It's just the rooms are more expensive. And we are strapped for cash. We are strapped hard. I miss the days, you know, I could fight enemies and easily earn, you know, like a thousand gold, but, you know, it's fine. We'll get there eventually. You know, where fights can basically pay for themselves. Well, obviously, I want to have more pig boar. I need more power. Ugh. And we can sell off that stupid glass ring. Oh, a quilted hat, huh? Well, I want to sell this glass ring. And let's see, armor. Well, the quilted hat would be... A slight plus. That's about it. Ugh, not worth it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's good to see me. You guys always shove stuff on my uh, lap here. Um, pair of straw beds, I guess. Hmm. I have nothing left to teach you. You're right. Uh, fine, upstanding dungeon digger. Kind of stuff to say, huh? Hmm. Nah, don't need to. 
Yep, fight against three monsters at a time. That's basically the only important thing you ever had to say. Ooh, a monster in the hallway. It's been a while since we've seen one of those. Though admittedly, I don't like to leave too many hallways if I can help it, but... We're definitely not going to build a lot of monster fights to the, um... Bosses, that'd be stupid. Mostly because it makes these episodes take way longer than intended. Yeah, we're gonna have to firebomb this thing hard. Well, we should really take out the other slime in one more hit at least. This is why I don't really care for uh, bombs, they're just too limited in their power. I think you can boost their power by raising your wisdom stat, because that's what they're, they go off of. Which is why I haven't been getting stronger and stronger bomb attacks out there. Because, like I said, I'd have to improve my wisdom, which I can't really do right now, because we can't get spook tarts. Oh, great. Don't stun lock me. Thank you. It missed. <sighs> and please drop a dry slime. Like, I could really use it. And it's a glass ring. Well, we can sell it off at least. To help fund more uh, productive items, hopefully. Okay, we'll heal up and see what these guys got. Well, obviously I want to take you out first. Thank you, Chain Attack. Um... Guess we'll go after the uh, Goblin, because they both have the same amount of health, so why not? But this thing, I think, can do, like, stun moves, so... I like to drop it before the Warcat wakes up, hopefully. Because that would be bad. And yeah, slices back, of course. But I love how we do more damage to awake enemies than sleeping ones. Like, apparently when they sleep, they're curled up and defend themselves. Sweet, a dagger. Okay, we'll get rid of that and place it with a slightly superior weapon. You know, I'll use what I got, you know. And then go looking for some more food. Um, take you out. After all, it's all about that pig boar, man. Come on. Hit me! You call that an attack? Well, here comes another one. It's fine. Of course, I'm hoping we can get the, um, big farm rooms, you know, on the next floor. Actually, yeah, we do. Yeah, good. Those farm rooms are a lot more convenient because you can fight, you know, several groups of enemies in a row. Okay, let's go down here. And dig our spot. Come on. Don't mess with me, Crobat. You don't stand a ghost of a chance. Not with my new, and a new dagger at my uh, disposal. Okay, let's see. I think I need to put the trash dump there. Feed barrel, feed barrel. Sweet, we managed to get out, at least. Um, yeah, it returns to the surface, alright. I know you don't. I keep wanting to get you some, but... The enemies have been less than obliging. Um, yeah, I want to sell back the knife, I don't need it anymore, and uh, I don't care for the light bomb, but I'll hold on to it for now, I guess. Yeah, that ought to do it. And I'll take another trash dump. And I think that'll do it, we don't need a lot of rooms right now. We will later, but for now we don't really need it. Okay, we can get some more, uh... Oh, we do have some dry fish flakes, need some spinach. Okay. I mean, I'm somewhat tempted to go in there just a couple days in a row just to go through what we currently have in supplies, just to max the stats I can. Ugh. Well, I wouldn't be maxing stats, just be raising my stats. Make us a little bit more competitive down there. But that's fine, you know, I, I can wait till I max out my food for the first time to really freak out about that. You don't have to keep reminding me of the obvious game, I know. 
Okay, we'll take you on a one-on-one -on -one fight. Sometimes that does net you um food items if you're lucky. Doesn't happen very often, but you know it's worth a shot. I mean, it's not like I got anything really to lose. Okay, let's just uh, cut you down then. And keep moving. Yep, see what I mean? Sometimes you do get lucky, so I'll take this crow leg and devour it later. For now, we got ourselves, you know... Ah, oh, the slide's on the wrong side, so we need to switch these around. Okay. I mean, right now it doesn't matter, because we're not going to be able to kill that thing in one firebomb hit. But obviously I want to have the slime be on the other side, so it's always the last target of attacks that hit the entire enemy party. Because if I want to grind for slimes, you know, that's what I'd want, the most efficient way to do it possible. Okay, at least the fight paid for itself. Though, uh, moving these rooms around is not going to be the cheapest thing ever. Okay, do it like that. Okay. We're not going to do this correctly. Darn. Well, feed barrel. Yeah, I know, we could have just left that there, and I would have been able to dig away into it next time, but screw it. I'd rather do it now. Now let's see, what do we have over here? Ah. The most trouble someone had to be on the far side, didn't it? Well, we'll just use our bomb for now. And, you know, soften up the slime for defeat. Ah, damn it. At some point they're going to pull off that stun lock, and I'm going to be annoyed. Well, let's get rid of you, so you don't have to worry about, you know, being stunned as much. Because you don't have to worry about taking as many hits. Okay, good, we did 10 damage that time. We're, we're slowly working our way up there, into more respectable range, you know? It's a good thing. Ooh, a second dry slime, great. And let's uh, heal before we head in here. After all, it's going to be a bit troublesome. So we might be able to start actually one-shotting all these um, other enemies, at least. Hopefully. Because the slimes are generally, you know, got higher defenses, because, you know, it's a slime. Physical attacks don't work on it as well, it's just resist them, you know? Like, you're trying to cut it, you know? Like, they, they're a magic target, obviously, sort of like in Final Fantasy. Okay, we got the power. Yep, we got it. Okay. That just leaves one left. Yeah, hit me with your stop all you want. It ain't stop me. Like, I'm going to harvest you for your meat or your fur. One or the other. I mean, I can sell the fur for money. Though, admittedly, I, I prefer food at the moment. Because, you know, getting fat off monster meat sounds like a good idea. And darn you, Frank, for being so gosh darn loud back there. Every bloody time. Okay, we'll drop you first. Yeah, you can sleep if you want. It won't save you. Uh, just a little bit more. A few more trips and I should hopefully have the power to just, you know, be like, boop, and it's down. Take advantage of being asleep, you know, just for quick kills. Ooh, that was a good one. Nice job, Horcat. I felt that one. Truly, I did. Oh, this might be some dry fish flakes. Yeah, Warcats also drop a food item. Not the most useful food item, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. Yeah, I finally brought it. I'll tell you all about cooking dry slime. You should try some, too. It's got a peculiar taste to it, but it's delicious when you boil it with a fresh crow leg. Slime's nutritious. It's just a thing to make a hero of a growing child. So it's a slime, right? And I both have work. Maybe I'll stock some new magic. A sleep cell for her by tomorrow, so come back then if you want it. Um, not really. I mean, it helps if we do that, but that's not our main goal. 
Okay, meal. Um, obviously we're gonna have some more pig boar stew. Like, I'm obsessed with raising my attack power to more respectful levels, after all. Yeah. Yes, wish you wouldn't call me boy all the time. A halter is? A halter? Someone wants one, but I'm all out of stock. You think you'd find one in your dungeon? All I need is one. What's a halter, anyway? It's chest armor designed for a girl. A girl's chest armor? Are you blushing? Uh, I'll see you later, then. Should I like, get a hold of a Warcat halter or something? Do you mind? Yeah, we'll s look for one. Um, I don't have anything I can sell, though. Yeah, yeah, always good to see you guys, ain't it? I know. Okay, let's uh, head to the magic shop, though. I'm guessing we're not going to have enough money to afford it. Yep, until the end of the fight. Oh, I can't afford it, if just barely, so we don't know sleep. But I'm pretty sure sleep's hard to cast cheaply. Yeah, I know it's over there, I just don't care. After all, taking care of that thing right now just ain't high on my priority list. I need more power first. Okay, we'll take that $15 and reinvest it into something, I'm sure. Okay. We're definitely gonna firebomb this thing just because the slime's here. Screw you, slime. And, uh... Darn it, we put that building on the wrong side, didn't we? Great. I keep forgetting my orientation while I'm coming into these, uh, these rooms in particular. Okay. Grab that. And straw bed over there. That'll work out better. Yep. That way we have the target right where we want it. Because later on, you know, Kate learns group wiping magic, and yeah, we're gonna get her eventually. We gotta get to the third floor first, though. As it stands, it's gonna be hard to get there. Definitely try and eat some uh, crow leg later, though. Not crow legs, the uh, the slime stuff. Raising our constitution will be important. Uh, Twelve damage, nice. We're getting there slowly but surely. Though these fights don't pay for evolve for themselves. I'd have to fight a whole bunch of slimes at once to make it truly worthwhile. But that's dangerous, like I said. You stunlock you sometimes. Okay. Let's, uh, bust out the, uh... Well, I guess let's take out the pig boar first. Thank you, Chantek. Okay, with that out of the way, then we can slick pick off the goblins. Come on. Yes! One hit, one kill. I like it. It's always preferable to take these things out fast. Oh great, it's a stun blow. So I'm not going to be able to do anything. Uh, stun me again. Now it's going to kill me. Thankfully, death doesn't result in game overs. You just run away, so... Don't feel super afraid of fighting, you know, uh, powerful enemies, I suppose. But it does mean this fight's gonna have to be reset. Ugh. Man. It's why I hate enemies that can stun you, because if they do stun you, you know, they can put you in a cycle where you can't get out. Especially if you're fighting multiple enemies. It's bloody annoying. Come on. Chain attack, please. Oh, it's gonna do this BS again. Well, at least it didn't stun me the first hit. Yeah, when you get stunned and you wake up from that, sort of like um, Pokemon when I came to sleep the first gen, you don't get to instantly launch an attack. Though, well, thankfully, we have the oversized club, so now we can use cheap stunning tactics. If we get lucky. Okay. Come on. Just, uh, take you out first, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I mean, we want to save that pig boar for last because I want its meat. 
you know, I'm probably gonna try and get some dry slime here. Come on, just one more target. Just pulverize out of existence, will you? Thank you. We, we just spanked it with a club. Spanked it hard, we did. Okay, let's grab that and just leaves these things now. Oh, that was an unlucky find. And I forgot to heal first, damn it. That was a bad call. So now I'm gonna he heal in the middle of this. Hope they don't hit me so hard they kill me. Um. Magic. Yep, yeah, we'll heal ourselves. Shoot. Would you guys stop throwing out the stun blow? Makes my job a lot harder if I have to worry about being stun locked. Like in the early game, like I said, you fear it. In the late game, you know, you can usually deal with regular monsters, you know, easily. Especially if you do a little farming. Okay, I'll take this. Yep, dry slime, sweet. Okay, I'll clear the path of this guy, but we're not going to be fighting him right now. I know I'm not really strong enough to really engage him seriously. Like, he will kick my face in. Um, yeah, you don't, you don't have anything you can do with me right now. Um, meal-wise, yeah, stewed slime. As much as I'd love to raise our uh, strength, raising our defensive stats would probably be a good idea as well. Well, that'll do for this episode. I'm going to spend some time, you know, trying to earn some more items in our current dungeon build for the first floor so we can take on the boss. You know, that's the goal, at least. Until next time, then. See ya.